the ASM community. In this lesson, I'm going to walk you through how to get the best results out of using the ASM community. So here I am logged into the dashboard. I'm going to go across and click on the community icon in the top right. Now, the first thing I'm going to take a quick look at is your icon in the top right. I'm going to click on it. And this drop down shows you any new events that have happened related to your account. Now, the first message in this list here is this test PM. And this is showing that this member has received a private message. And you can see in the far left of the message, it's got this envelope, which is indicating it is a private message. To read your private messages, all you do is click on it. As you can see, I've sent a private message to this account, which I set up for doing the training. And then if I wanted to reply, I would just click on reply and then type my reply in here. So I've just replied, thanks Rich. I'm gonna click reply. And that sent a private message in reply to the person who sent it to me. In other words, myself. Now if we go back, click on it again, you can see now that it's no longer in blue because I've actually responded to it or checked it out. This next one is showing that someone's responded to one of my posts. And that's what this arrow means. I'm gonna click on it. And this is a test post I made earlier. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you actually how to post. And then Tracy, who's one of our mentors, I asked it to reply to this so I could show you this example. If we go back to it again. Now this one is showing that Rich Henderson has tagged this account. In other words, they've tagged the name. And again, I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I can click on it. And this was a post I made asking a question. And as you can see, this account, in other words, my real account, as it was applied and tagged the Desperate Dan account. And again, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then the last one here, this is a test post for walkthrough. Again, it's just that I tagged this account, in other words, Desperate Dan, in this post. Now, if you see numbers up here, it means there's been a new response or a new mention of your name while you've been logged out. Now, currently, there is a bit of an issue where the number doesn't disappear once you've read them all until you log out and log back in again. But it's not something to worry about right now and we'll probably have it fixed fairly shortly. But let's go back to the main page of the community and you can do that by just clicking on the logo. Now by default, it's gonna show all the latest posts. You can see them all here. But when you first log in, you're actually only going to see posts that are in the welcome module category. To look at the categories, all you do is click on this all categories box on the far left and there it's showing you the available categories to you. One is general ASM chat, two is the welcome module, and three is module one. However, when you first log in, when you first get access to this community, you won't be seeing module one. That won't be opened until module one is opened. However, I've opened it briefly to add some test posts and to allow some other members to post so that we've got a bit more content in here for you to look at. So if for instance, you were in module one and you had a question about module one, you could by all means scroll through all the latest posts or you could come to the categories, click on it and then click on module one. And then you know that all the posts that you're going to see in this section here are all for module one. So you could look through them. However, what you can also do is go up to this search icon, click on it and then type in what you're looking for. I may have a question about BSR ranges. So I type in BSR ranges and it's got some recommended questions here. However, if none of these match yours, then you know that you can go and ask your own question. So let's do that. However, the first thing you need to do when you come in is go to the welcome module and make a post introducing yourself to the community. You can use the same thing that's in your bio if you wish, or you can write something different. If we look at the example one I did, you can see it's exactly the same as the bio from the previous lesson. Now you can always go back to the module area after opening a post by just clicking on the module title underneath the title of the post. And to make a new post, all you do is click on new topic. So all you need to do is click on new topic, give it a title, and you'll also notice on the right hand side, you get a blue pop up. And when you start typing in the title, it will give you suggestions. We're testing this right now. If we don't think it turns out to be helpful for our members, then we will remove it. But if you start typing and you see it here and it's not of any relevance to you, you can just hit the escape key or the cross in the bottom right hand corner. So you put the title in for your post, just something like new member from wherever you're from or say hi from wherever you're from. And then you would just type in your introduction. Now to save me typing it all out, I'm just gonna paste in the introduction post I made earlier. And I'll just change this to London, UK. I'm going to delete this afterwards anyway. But the thing to notice over here on the right, 
this is how your post will actually appear. But once you've created your post, all you need to do is click on create a topic. And that's it, you've created your welcome post, which is also a requirement for getting your breaking the cycle badge. But let's go back to the main area of the community again. And the process for making a post is exactly the same in any category. So for instance, if you had a question for module one, you would click on all categories, click on module one, and then click on new topic. It would open the same boxes, and then you would give your post a title and type your question underneath. Now I'm gonna to jump to the general ASM chat because I want to show you something quite important. And that is this post, meet your mentors. And these are all your mentors. Now please don't respond to this thread. It's only for the mentors to post their introductions and we still have a couple more to add, but it's just so you can see them. But what I also wanted to show you is you can always tell a mentor because their name will be in green and they'll also have a little shield next to it, which means not only are they a mentor, they're also a moderator. So I'm gonna go back to the main area again. Now we're gonna take a quick look at these tabs up here. When you actually get access to this, all of these tabs may not be available. Again, we're just testing them out to see which are the most important, but new will be, and if you click on new, it shows all the new topics that are available. Unread is very likely to be removed. Top basically shows the most active post, which can be a good thing for you to go and look at. And the categories tab, we will be removing this because essentially it's no different than clicking on all categories and clicking on one of these. Now that is pretty much all there is to using the community. Now I do wanna show you one more thing and I'm gonna to go to the welcome module. I'm just gonna drop down to the weekly calls post. So if you ask a question, someone responds and you want to respond to that person to maybe ask for clarification or something like that, you can just click on the reply button inside their post. So I've just typed, thank you for the information. I'm gonna click reply. Now what you can also do is actually tag people too. Now this is very important. Please do not tag any of the mentors unless inside a thread they have responded to you, then by all means you can tag them back. To do that, you would click on reply, and then for this example, and you can do this for members too, it's not just mentors. If you type the at symbol and then start typing their name, you can see it gives you this pop-up. And then all you need to do is click on the one that it corresponds to. So in this case, it'd be at Rich Henderson for this one. And then you would type your response. So I've just typed thank you so much and then I hit reply. And now you can see it's actually tagged me. And you can also see here on the right that it's responded to Rich Henderson. So that's how you tag people and that's how you reply. Please just remember, only tag a mentor inside a thread if they've responded to you. All the mentors patrol this area, and we've also got some very knowledgeable members who might even answer your question before a mentor sees it. So please don't tag mentors. We are always in there, and all of the questions in here will be looked at by our mentors. So I'm gonna go back to the start again. Just a couple more things to point out. You've got replies, views, and activity. This just shows the number of replies a thread has had the number of reviews it's had, and the last activity, in other words, the last response that was made in that thread. And that is really all there is to using the community. The more you use it, the easier it's gonna become for you. And if you've got any questions at any time, please do feel free to ask. Just try and remember to stick to using the correct categories. If we see posts that are in the wrong categories, we can move them, but it just makes it more difficult for the mentors to keep having to do that. So choose the right category. And when you first join, once again, you'll only see general ASM chat and the welcome module. Please, as soon as possible, get into the community, post your welcome inside the welcome module category, say hello to your fellow members. And if you go in there and you see other members have posted their welcomes, then go and answer them, respond to them, reply to them. Start building conversations and getting to know people. So what is next? So now you know how the community works and how to post and answer questions. In the next lesson, you're going to learn about the ASM badges and why they are so important to your success. Your action step, go take a look inside the community and make your welcome post. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.